Hello, and welcome to my instructional video on how to watch DivX movies on the Sega Dreamcast. In order to watch DivX movies on your Sega Dreamcast, we're going to need a software called DC DivX. So in your web browser, click www.dcemulation.org. Next, under Dreamcast Software, click Applications. Under Multimedia, click on DC DivX. For this project, we're going to need plain files. So click the first link that says Plain Files. Click the default download site. And save this file to a destination you know where it's easy access. This step is now completed. This next step, we're going to need a software called Virtual Dub, which we'll be using to encode movies into DivX. So in your address bar, type in www.virtualdub.org. Next, under Navigation, click on the Downloads link. Then Virtual Dub at SourceForge. And we'll need the 32-bit version. And again, save this to a spot where you know it's easy to find. This step is now complete. This next step is important. You'll be needing DivX 5.0 for this project. So in Google, type in DivX 5.0. Next, go to the link that says www.oldversion.com slash divx.html. Next, click on the DivX 5.0 link. Click Download Now. Next, you're going to save this file to a spot you know where to find. This step is now complete. In this next step, we're going to need to set up DivX 5.0. So double click on the setup file, click Run, press Next. All right, and DivX is now installed. Next, we're going to need to set up Virtual Dub. So right click the file and extract to Virtual Dub. You have now set up Virtual Dub. In this next step, we're going to encode your video files into DivX format. So let's open the Virtual Dub folder. Let's open virtualdub.exe and let's go and encode your video file. First, we're going to have to open the video file and Ignore the error you get on the screen. Sometimes some videos will have errors and sometimes they won't. And they're not always accurate errors. So just press OK. Alright, so first step we're going to need to go to Audio and select Full Processing Mode. Go to Audio again, select Compression, choose MPEG th Layer 3 Format, select Show All Formats. 
go to 40 kilobytes, 22050 hertz stereo, and press OK. All right, let's go back to audio again and select conversion. We're going to need to put that into 22050 hertz and select high quality and press OK. All right, next we're going to need to go to video and go to filters and add and scroll down until you see resize. We're, we're going to need to put this into 320 by 240. You'll type this in this area here, 320 by 240, and everything is accurate. All right, next, go to filter mode and select precise by cubic 1.00. All right, next up, go to codec friendly sizing and select multiples of four and press OK. All right, OK again. Go back to video again and select compression. Select DivX 5.0. Go to configure and type in 500 kilobytes. Press OK and press OK again. Next, we're going to need to save this file into AVI format. Save as AVI and press save. And you have now encoded your Dreamcast AVI file. This step is now complete. In this next step, I'm going to show you how to get DC DivX working on the SD adapter. For those of you using the CD format, I'll show you how to get it working on that in the next step. All right, so we're going to need to go to the DC DivX.zip file. Double click on Sigwin. Just skip all these folders until you see a bunch of files. All right, now we're going to need that divx.bin file. So let's open the ISO make folder, open the data folder, and drag the divx.bin into the, to the data folder. All right, so next we're going to need two more files from here. Double click on ROM disk, and we're going to need background.jpg and loading.jpg. Drag those into the data folder, and close dcdivx.zip. And we're going to need one more file, ip.bin, which is located in your system folder in the root of ISO Make. So double click sys and right click on ip.bin and copy. Let's go back to the data folder again and paste. Next, we're going to rename the divx.bin to first underscore read.bin. All right. Next, we're going to need that video file that you encoded and drag it into there. Let's go back into the ISO make root folder and create ISO. You have now created your DC DivX ISO to work on your SD adapter. All right. Next, we are going to send the newly created ISO file to your SD adapter. So let's right click on the ISO file and send to. Uh, it's, mine is the J drive, it might be different for you. In this next step, I'm going to show you how to get DC DivX working on a CD disk for the Sega Dreamcast. Before we begin, there is one file you'll need, and that is ip.bin. You can find this with other Dreamcast projects on dcmu.co.uk or dcemulation.org. All right, so let's open the dcdivx.zip file. Let's get past all these folders here until we see a bunch of files. All right, we need the divx.bin file. So let's open the dcdivx folder. Drag that over to the DC DivX folder. 
And let's open the ROM disk folder because we need two more files there. Let's drop and drag that into the DC DivX folder. And what we need to do next is rename the divx.bin to first underscore read dot bin. All right, so now that that's completed, we need that encoded video that you made. All right, so now we need to open Boot Dreams and create your CD image. All right, so let's locate that that uh, DC DivX folder on your desktop. All right, so let's begin the process. And say yes, would you like to scramble it? And save it to your desktop. And there you go. You have successfully created a CD image of DC DivX. Now burn this with any software that opens a CDI image file. All right, in this next step, we're going to test the ISO file that you created to use with your SD adapter. All right, so what you're going to need to do is open your video file, and let's see if it works. All right, and as you can see, the video works. So what you have learned in this tutorial, you can now use for the rest of your video collection. Now, of course, I'm going to remind you that not all video files will work. Sometimes they have errors, which I have no clue why. But I've only had problems with three or four videos, and sometimes Virtual Dub does have the odd problem. But again, this is a great way to watch DivX movies if you do not own a next-gen video game system. Alright, the tutorial is now complete. If you fully completed everything in this tutorial, then you should have no problems watching DivX on the Sega Dreamcast. Now, it may not be that great to use the Dreamcast as your main movie player, but it's great for vacations and if you don't have a next-gen video game system. All right, not all DivX videos had worked perfectly. I had some problems where the videos would have this pink glare on the screen. Now, this happened to three or four videos. Other uh, problems you will run into is with Virtual Dub. Now, you've seen some of the errors that came on the screen with the audio. Sometimes you don't even get an error on the screen. There's problems with audio compression. And this just happens rarely. Now, again, this is a great little media player, and it should work with most of your video files. If it doesn't work the first time, try it again with another video file, and there you go. You now have a Dreamcast media player.